Alrighty, everybody. How are we all doing? Let me uh, get myself plugged in here. Do, 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 do. All right, folks. So how are we all doing? Um, let me get my camera angled correctly. Welcome to live jazz, live jazz class with Dr. Selfridge. Um, as always, we have our familiar faces here watching along, all of our favorite people in the chat, and we might have some new people. So if you are a new person, make sure you say hello. Uh, let us know your background, you know, what, what instrument you play, maybe your experience. Um, and it's always fun to know where people are watching from. We have people that watch from all over the world. It's pretty amazing. So, um... Today is jazz class. Monday, Tuesday is our band class. We have some new jazz stuff planned for you today. Let's say hello to Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Are you there? I'm here. Oh, good. You're nice and nice and loud today. That's good. Nice and loud today. <laughs> so uh, I was just saying that, well, you heard me, Dennis. How cool it is that we have people watching from all over the world. It's different. Oh, absolutely. Isn't that neat? Um, yeah. And I know for some people watching, it's, uh, it's the middle of the night or uh, it's evening or all different kinds of things. I know it's eight, that's dedication. Dedication. I know it's eight p.m. in the UK, where our friend Mike Hamilton is in uh, Scotland, mm -hmm. and uh, various people watching from different parts of the world. So it's always good to know where people are watching from. That's fun. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, folks. If you don't know Dennis, he's our uh, our friend online who um, who st who's on the line with us every class and just uh, watches our chat room and and uh, helps to highlight questions that that I might miss during the course i try to keep up with our with our chat room but i don't always catch everything with all the various buttons i have to click here and things i have to do so uh we'll check in with dennis in a little bit and he'll let us know uh maybe some new people if you want to get a shout out if you're if you're new we'll get your shout out we have uh uh terry and joe in the chat who are watching our chat room um and they will be just kind of helping us out by highlighting certain questions as well. All right, guys, so welcome everyone. I wanna show you where we have to go to play, uh, to play our music for today. So let me make this my full screen. There we go, that's what we wanna do. So as always, folks, we're gonna to go to, um, let me highlight this for you. We're gonna to go to Dr. Selfridge, oh, that's not what I want. There's my schedule, if you need it. Uh, we're going to go here uh, to show you what we're going to do today. We go to drselfridgemusic.com, and um, we go to live stream jazz. Now, I did this in our last class, with, and Mike Hamilton and some other folks in the chat said it was a good idea, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you where to click, but then I'm going to put the link directly in the chat, so we always have that. All right, and if anyone, if anyone comes in late to the show, just let them know that the, the link is in the chat. We're going to click on Guide Tone Blues. Oh, look at that. I've got, I got to delete that. Guide Tone Blues. This is a new song that we have. This is like, I was just telling Dennis. Dennis, are you there still? Um, yes. All right. I was just telling, yes. I, was tell, I was telling you earlier how uh, this song is, is really hot off the presses. Like, literally, uh, I finished writing it about a half hour ago. And uh, so we have a brand new song to play. Um, so that should be interesting. Um, we have it in the chat. Right there is the link. And let's go back to our website view here. Okay. Oh, Inception. That's my, that's my live feed. Uh, here we go. Guide Tone Blues. Let's take a look at it. Does anyone, by the way, while we're getting started, I see Mike did put in the chat our um, trivia question of the day, which I will get to. Trivia question is always fun. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. Let's look at our guide tone blues. Does anyone know what guide tones are? I kind of tell you right here on the website what guide tones are. So um, you can you can pop in and uh, tell me what a guide tone is. Do me a favor, guys. Uh, go ahead and, and put a like on the video. That just helps uh, uh, YouTube kind of see those algorithms kind of look for those likes. So I appreciate you guys putting a like on the video and you can subscribe. If you like the kind of stuff we do here, you can subscribe. All right, 
Sky Tone Blues. Uh, why don't I play... I'm going to play flute first. I just have my... I'm in a flute kind of mood. If you guys want to hear me play a different instrument, I have a bunch of them here. Just let me know. All right. So, the Guide Tone Blues. Um, and I'm going to look in the chat to see if anyone got the answer on what guide tones are. But it's something that you should know if you're starting to study jazz. Um, why don't we play this song first, and then we'll talk about some music theory. So you should click on the version for your instrument, and we're going to go about this speed. Sorry. That's about the beat and the feeling of this song. Okay. So I'm going to play along with me. Let's try you know what, let's just try playing the whole thing from beginning to end because um, it, it's not too tricky. Let's just try it. Just be, watch for the notes that are flatted and the notes that go back to natural. Okay, here we go. And beginning. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two measures of rest. Let's do that again. One, two, repeat, and. There we go. That is called our guide tone blues. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. And it's a, it's a simple, the melody is on the simple side. It's got a nice repetitive uh, riff-like rhythm to it. And let me, I'm going to go to our chat and see if folks got the answer to what guide tones are. Um, so Gabe is here. Gabriel said something about three, seven chords. Right. So, um, Parasarathi says, is this altissimo notes? No, it's not altissimo. Um, well, it depends which one you clicked on. Uh, I can help you click on the right song. Yeah, so Gabe, Gabe is on the right track. Um, guide tones are, you've got your notes in your chords. So the first chord in this blues song is a concert F chord. That's the chord. So on our instrument, we play the chord One, three, five, seven. It's actually the lowered seventh because it's we're in blues. One, three, five, seven, five, three, one. The guide tones are the third and the seventh because those are the notes in any chord that determine whether the, the chord is going to be major or minor or dominant. So if I have a basic major chord here, that's a major seven chord. If I flat the seventh, it becomes a dominant chord. Now if I flat the third, so now I have the, I have the third and the seventh are flatted, that makes it a minor seventh chord. So the more you learn about music theory, this might seem confusing to you, but the more you learn about music theory, you learn that the third and the seventh are the crucial notes for making a chord major, minor, or what we call dominant. And that's why we call them the guide tones, because you want to be aware of these notes when you're improvising, because it makes your improv sound better. So let's go back to our song, and let's play it again. Now, I was talking uh, about making sure you have the right copy of the song, Guide Tone Blues. So if you play flute, oboe, guitar, or mallets, you want to be on C instrument. Mallets and guitar could also do the low version if you want. Uh, B flat instruments who are prefer to read higher notes like clarinet and tenor sax. Sometimes it's better to read your high notes. You would want to play B flat instruments high. Trumpet or if you're playing the euphonium baritone tenor, tenor clef, sorry treble clef, you would read this part. So tenor sax wouldn't want to do this part. 
Um, and of course, we have our E flat instruments, our F instruments, French horn, bass clef, and tuba. All right, so let's try this again. And um, oh, we have our backing track right here. And this is our blue scales backing tracks. There's a lot of different ones. You click back and forth. The one you want is the very first one. It's called Basic Blues in F, two, five, one. Let's listen to that. Here it is. Here is our. Okay, so there is our background. Here's our music. I'm going to play this with the background. You can join me if you'd like. All right, get ready. One, two, one, two, three. down, we can see the guide tones are here. We have double notes. So if you look at the, F, the, the first chord, we have two notes at once. The top one is the third of the chord. And then I put the seventh down below it in the lower octave. So you can choose either one of these to play. And we're going to play this rhythm that goes all the way through. Okay, let me show you what it sounds like. You, you can play either the top note or the bottom note because I included both of the guide tones. And so you're gonna be on one of the guide tones no matter which one you choose. Let's try it. Play the top note or the bottom note. Here we go. Next line. Whatever one you did last time, let's switch to the other one. So if you played the higher note, try playing the lower note this time. So we're going to wait for this to come back around to the beginning, and you're going to you're going to play either the top note or the bottom note of our background notes right here. Background notes using guide tones. One, two, one, two, three, four. again. Switch. Beginning. Line three. Now, the next thing on this, and we're gonna do one more thing on this song, and then I'm gonna to get to some of your questions, okay? So keep putting your questions in the chat, and I will get to as many questions as I can. Um, so, how do we use these guide tones in our improvisation? Well, one of the one things to do, one of the first things to do, I should say, is em keep your mind on the guide tone but you can move around other parts of the scale, but always want to emphasize the guide tone. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a whole time through the song. I'm going to improvise, but I'm really going to emphasize the top note of our guide tone line right here. 
and I'm not going to use this rhythm of this particular thing. I'm going to make up my own rhythms, but I'm going to, I'm going to emphasize the top note. And when it changes to the flat, I'm going to emphasize that. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. 12 measures I'm going to solo, starting at the beginning. One, two, one, two. Now I'm switching. Switch back. Okay, so I want you to let me know in the chat if that made a little bit of sense, a lot of sense, or uh, here, I, what I like to do with my, um, what I like to do with my students when I'm teaching lessons is I say, on a scale of one to five, five meaning you totally, completely understood everything I was talking about, zero meaning you were completely lost, on a scale of one to five, how much sense did that make? How much did you understand what I was doing about and explaining about the chord tones? So in the chat, you can say five. I totally understood it. Four. Eh, I, yeah, I, mo I think I mostly got it. Three or three, uh, sort of two, like I don't really know. And one and zero would be like, I'm completely lost. And that's OK if you're completely lost, because each time you pick up a little bit. OK. Um, let's go to our, let's take a little break from our guide tone blues and let's look at some of your questions. Okay. And, and, uh, Dennis, I don't know if we had anybody new that we, we would want to mention or shout out. I to. haven't seen anybody, uh, uh, who said that they were new, but Terry usually picks up on those. Okay. Before. Great. 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 There's been a, a fair amount of questioning and stuff. Okay, good. Uh, I'll take it take a look at some of those questions. Um, and I see some, some of you are commenting on your level of, uh, you know, how much did that make sense? And I see some fours and threes. That's good. Very good to see. Because what the things we're doing, these are kind of advanced jazz improv concepts. So the fact that you're, you know, feeling like you, you're, you're getting it a little bit is great. All right, let's go to some questions. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, Lewis Blakely, can I teach you how to play in a funk style? Yes. So I'm going to answer Lewis questions, Lewis's question right now, because Lewis uh, asked this on Tuesday and I wasn't able to get to it. So thank you for your patience. All right. And Arnaldo says, I don't have my horn with me today, but I will not miss one more show. That's cool. Thank you, Arnaldo. You've been a, always been a, a great, uh, great person to have with us. All right. <laughs> Now, so uh, playing improvisation in a funky uh, rock R&B funk style. First of all, the main difference is, uh, so here we go. Lewis is, is improvising over superstition. So Lewis, it depends if you're doing that in the original key. Let me think. The, origi the key for superstitious or superstition uh, uh, it's 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 in the key of E flat minor, so that's it. Uh, that's it. I'll do it down an octave. key of E flat on the piano. That's it. Like that. Um, now, so you would solo on this in a, usually uh, funk songs and, and R&B songs are uh, in a, a bluesy dominant sound. So you can use a blues scale. Uh, 
So for alto sax, it's a C blues scale. Lewis, I'm, yeah, you play alto, right? Um, C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, C. Now let me show everyone something that you can find your blues scales. If you go to, um, if you go to live stream jazz and you go to blues scales right here, this has a full list of all the blues scales. So you could click on E flat instruments and it just shows you, oh, it just shows you one key. If you go here, blue scales in all 12 keys, there you go. So I'm going to put this link in the chat as well. So you use that, those blue scales. And the main thing is that you want to use a, 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 a sort of a, a rock beat, straight eighth note, da 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 da. So not swing like do ba do ba do, but do da do da do, straight eighth notes. And you, you're, it's good if you use phrases that are maybe a little bit shorter and more rhythmic. Think of yourself as like a snare drum. Stuff like that. Um, do that deep dap do dab up. Really play with the rhythm and punchy, punchy rhythms. Go back and forth between punchy rhythms and maybe more long notes as kind of a release. So you could be punchy. And then longer notes kind of are like a release. Right, you got some long stuff and some, some shorter rhythms. So I hope that helps. Articulation is, is super important for funk. Okay, let's go to <laughs> Juan Pablo says, says right on funky bro. Um, other comments. Um, okay. You know what I want to do? I want to, oh, Jacqueline says I can't get the sheet music. So Jacqueline, um, if you go back in the chat, I'm going to put this in the chat again. This is the sheet music that we were using for guide tone blues coming right up for you in the chat. All right. Um, let's go to drum roll, please. Let's get some, maybe get some music going here. Uh, and we're going to do a little shout out to some new people. So new people, we have Ann Ross. We have Neapolitan ice cream. Sounds delicious. Uh, we have Erlaine Baltazar from Brazil. 200. <laughs> we have 200 subs with one cat who is in seventh grade and plays the clarinet. Uh, we have Dennis Sandoval from Columbia. We have Wanda Wade from uh, Price, Houston, Texas. Oh, Wanda Wade Price from Houston, Texas plays the flute. Samuel Jean Baptiste. Fantastic. Uh, Arnaldo giving me some great feedback there on the show. Thank you. Um, Armand Life. Or Lewis Blakely is checking in and saying uh, E flat minor was the key for very superstitious. That is correct. Um, Sam, Samuel Jean Baptiste said he, he understood what I was talking about out of four and he's new. So congratulations. That's great. Amange Life, what is on for clarinet? So I have a clarinet. Uh, what would you like me, actually I gotta, real quick, if you'll pardon me while I plug in my laptop here, cause we're gonna lose Dennis if I don't. <laughs> Let me plug Dennis in. There we go. Uh, all right, so, boom. Dennis, hopefully we won't lose you. There we go. I think we're good. What do you guys want? Uh, so the question about clarinet, uh, what do you want me to do? You have a question about what music is for clarinet? Uh, clarinet music would be B flat instruments, higher notes usually. Mike Hamilton. Let's go to Mike Hamilton's trivia question. 
What instrument do Pennsylvania musicians have in common? Joe Thomas, Billy Root, Nathan Davis. I have a guess on that. I have a guess on that, but maybe I'll, I will hold my guess. My guess. All right. Parasarathi, where are we at? We're not doing anything uh, on sheet music right now. I mean, I'm doing some chat questions. Nurian Aparicio, is it alto sax? Well, I'm not sure what you're asking. Is what alto sax? You can ask that again. How to play Jingle Bell Rock on tenor sax? Oh, we could do that one. Uh, ter uh, Terry is checking in. Some more new people. Amange Life plays clarinet. And Juan Pablo Macias is from Greenspun Junior High School. That's great. All right. And Samuel is checking in and saying, I'm from Little Rhode Island and your beginner flute lessons are giving me so much help. That's great. Got more flute lessons coming. All right. So, Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell. You know, let's talk about that for a sec. Why not? Why not? Jingle Bell Rock. So, you guys heard this song, Jingle Bell Rock. It's kind of a jazzy song, so that counts for jazz class. Um, even though it's called Jingle Bell Rock, uh, it's got a swing beat to it. In the 50s, which I think Jingle Bell Rock came out. Dennis, uh, let's uh, maybe you might have a memory. Do you have, do you have an idea when, when Jingle Bell Rock was... Was it from the 50s? You must have been very young. Yeah, it was definitely from the 50s. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that the, in the 50s, rock and roll often had a swing beat, which was interesting. It was kind of like rock and roll was developing out of jazz. Uh, rock and roll was sort of a, a harder, more aggressive uh, uh, variation of jazz. And so they would play with that swing beat. da 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 so if you play Jingle Bell Rock, oh, Nurian was trying to guess Mike's, que Mike's uh, trivia question. Oh, okay. Um, now I see. So the cool thing about Jingle Bell Rock, everybody, is you can pick any major scale. Um, and basically it starts on the top note of the scale. So let's just pick the major scale everyone is usually familiar with. Concert B flat. <laughs> You start on the top note and you play da 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 and you go down da 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 da. So a lot of times in music it's it's good to use numbers. If you get you get to know your scale on the numbers. So we have the root, one, 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 and then go down one, seven, six, seven, six. Yeah, six, seven, six, three. So then it goes to da 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 four. So this is why it's so useful to start singing folk tunes, easy songs, and start to match them onto your do re mi scale. Remember, I talked about the do re mi scale. Do use your do re mi scale. Do 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 t t t so. La 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 ti la mi la ti la mi so la ti la fa. You just get to know how music is constructed on that basic scale. And then it starts on re or two. That's the one part of the song that gets chromatic. It's uh, six or A, and you go down half step. Flat three. So there we go. Um, little tidbit of that. Here we go. Let's go back to the chat. Back to the chat. Mike Hamilton says... Um, well, let's go back here. Samuel says, I, I study jazz piano, so the, the jazz guide tones made sense. That's great. Crafty Cat Creation says, hi. Um, Mike Hamilton can do some of Jingle Bell Rock on sax. That's great. Regina Archer, can I play Jingle Bells on clarinet? Yes, we have this in our beginner band tunes packet, but it goes E, 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 G, C, D, E. 
move my microphone so you can see what I'm doing. the trickiest part because it's it skips G G F D C then you've got the middle part there we go oh it's getting me in a a Christmassy mood I love the summertime, but then you just think about how much fun the, the fall and the, and the winter is, and it's all good. All right. Arnaldo says, can we have a, a Christmas packet for December? That's a great idea. I actually don't think I have a Christmas packet posted, so maybe I will do that. Daisy Lopez, Monterosso. This might be my last stream since next Tuesday is the first day I'm returning to school. I'll try to leave a hi in the chat. You know what? Actually, that's a good point. And Dennis, we can, we can chat about this, but... Um, you know, some schools are starting to get back into session. It might be time to look again at, at the live stream schedule, maybe do something that would be better for, for folks, who kids who are in school. So might be something to think about. Absolutely. Yeah. And maybe the other thing is <clears throat> maybe suggest to them that they <clears throat> tell their teachers about this experience and that maybe the teachers might want to use some of this. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So I, I, that's a great suggestion from Dennis. Um, let your, if you're, I know we have some adults who, who are watching, but I know we have some folks who are in school who are watching. Uh, let your teachers know about this show um, and my channel. And uh, maybe some of your friends might want to, might be able to learn from some of the, some of our videos or joining our, our live streams. And our friends who are uh, watching from different parts of the world, you know, maybe let me know there, maybe there might be a better time that we can do our, our, our next schedule that would be good for our, our American friends who are in school. Uh, so it's after school, but also folks who might, who might be overseas uh, in, in other parts of the world or you know, other hemispheres or, or whatnot. So we'll try to find a good time that works for everybody. Um, or maybe I'll just do 24-hour live stream. How would you guys like that? 24 hours a day. I'll just go marathon. I don't think I can pull that off. All right. Joe said, Uncle Joe says in the chat, it's 1957 from Jingle Bell Rock. All right. Uh, Harry Potter fan it says, sorry I'm late. Good to see you here, Harry Potter fan. You guys ready to play a little bit more? Let's play a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to get a couple more comments. Uh, Mike Hamilton says, it's going to be Christmas before we know it, that we might still be, yeah, still... Staying at home a lot, but uh, uh, Christmas is coming, that's for sure. All right. Mike Hamilton, I want to answer your question. Um, can I play the banjo? So I have a banjo behind me. That banjo, you might know, is a family heirloom. It, and my uncle gave it to me, my great uncle. Uh, I actually can't play... I can't play the banjo. That's like one instrument I, I really don't know much about. I play a little bit of guitar... Piano, bass, drums, all the wind instruments. But banjo, uh, I, I would need to practice. <laughs> all right. So you guys, let, let's do this. Let's play some other stuff where you guys can... Do you guys want to play... Um, um, I'm going to let you make some requests. Let's look, at, let's look at our options. Okay. With our time we have left. Here we go. Here are some of our jazz things we can do. We can do our jazz at the movies. That was always fun. Um, we can do one of my other jazz songs like Dorian or um, Saints Go Marching In. That might be a good one for, uh, you know what? Well, that's my, that's my favorite right now because this is Louis Armstrong's birthday week. So this might be the next thing we got to do. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. And then you guys make your other requests in the chat. And we'll do those as many of those as we can. So 
you're going to go to Saints Go Marching In. Okay. I'm going to put this in the chat. Here we go. That's your link to where you want to be. And in honor of Louis Armstrong, uh, who whose birthday we just had on August 4th. And he was from, you know, he's born in New Orleans and then grew up to become the most famous and most influential jazz musician pretty much up to this point. And so the New Orleans theme song is when the Saints go marching in. You hear it all the time down there. So what instrument should I play? I haven't played much clarinet today, so let's do clarinet. I want you to click on your part. Let's practice this melody together. We'll go like bum 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 bum. Here we go. And I'll get the count off will be one, two, three, four, rest. Bum 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 bum. Set. One, two, three, four, rest. go now of course when you play it in New Orleans the almost never hear it in a just a straight quarter note quarter note quarter note like that they always jazz it up so you might play something like let me put on our play along track and here's a jazzy version of what you might do oh I have two play alongs going here let's turn off that one here we go so I'm going to play Saints, and I'm going to do it in, a, in jazzy, where we jazz up the melody. Actually, folks, this is, how, this is how jazz began. It was from people taking melodies, any old melody, any old tune, and putting jazz, putting, well, they didn't call it jazz at the time, just being creative with the rhythms. Here we go. I'll try it, and then I want you to try it. jazzy version. Okay, so now what we can do, hopefully you had some success there playing your own jazzy version. What we do next is we go down to our blues scale. It's called the major blues scale. You can make up some cool things on this. I'm going to play. Uh, let's do our solo ideas. All right. Go down to these. All of these solo ideas are from the major blues scale. I'm going to play the call and you do the response. You can play what I just played or you can make up your own. Let's go. Here we go. Let's turn the music back up and I'll count us in to measure 24. I'll play first, then you, and you can improv or copy. You ready, set? Measure 24, I'll go first. You copy or make something up. My turn, here we go. You. Next one. Next line. Next 
fun. Going. I'm going to improvise now on the scale. My turn first. Your turn. We're trading fours now. Three, four, back to me. Little squeak. You're allowed to squeak once in a while. Here we go. My turn. Back to me. Let's play the melody. Here we go. One, two, three, four, go. it up. All right. And there's always little clever endings of how you can end that song. Cool. Well, I hope you all were able to jam along on that and jazz along. Let's say hi to Dennis. And um, I know it seems like uh, people have been playing along a lot. Maybe we haven't had a lot of questions, but is there anything I can, uh, you want to bring up that was in the chat, Dennis? Yeah, there. Um, there's a lot of things that came uh, after you started for suggestions. Um, we can do so a we can do a comet suggestion. Blower, comet blower bolos cal, caliente, what's calientes? Oh, bolos calientes. Okay. Yeah. On um, the trumpet. Good. Uh, Lewis ba Blakely wants anything from big bands. Okay. Mike Hamilton suggested the the greatest great escape. Okay. And Mike had another one down here. Um, Oh, shoot. Well, oh, he was talking uh, about you coming to uh, 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 Edinburgh. He said, if you ever come to. Oh, come visit? Catch him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come visit him. Mike, as soon as, the, that. as soon as we're allowed to fly and I've got the time and the ability, I would love to visit. I've never been to Scotland. So, um, go ahead. That would be great. All right, so let's go to some of these uh, requests. Uh, Gabriel has to go. See you, Gabriel, if you're still here. Thanks for being here. Um, let's go to, uh, we had requests for big bands. Let's do Boyos Calientes, and let's try to get them all in. So let's go to Boyos Calientes. Let me show you guys where to go. Live stream jazz. And you go down to, was it all the way at the, where is it? Do I, did I miss it? San Antonio. Oh, that's weird. Oh, right in front of my face. Hello. Okay, so it's right here. So um, let me put this in the chat. This is a uh, this is a jazz song that is a lot of fun because it's based on hot cross buns. All right, that's not what I want. I want this link. Let me find it. Here we go. And let's find Bolios Caliente. And I gotta fix that because someone, you guys helped me out that it's Bolios Calientes. All right, here we go. I will play, I think it was requested that I play trumpet. So let's go ahead and I'll do that. You guys play what you like. Bolios Calientes, I have to fix that. Let me get my trumpet. <laughs> So 
So we have the four measures of rest at the beginning, and then we're gonna come in with our melody. And when it gets to the split notes, you can choose upper or lower, it's up to you. Then let's practice our pentatonic scale together. Then let's do call and response on solo ideas. I'll play the solo idea, you echo anything you like. Let's try it. Let's get our backing track going. Okay. Oh, I said the word. <laughs> I woke up my Alexa because I said the word echo and it wakes her up. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Say that again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Four bars intro. Let me find my music. One. Ah! One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's wait a little bit longer. All right. <laughs> It was right there. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba. See, I was I was defeated by my multiple tabs. It was my, my fault. Here we go. It was right there. Four bars rest. Two. Three. Here we go. Four. scale. Ready? One, two, half notes go. Okay, that's our scale. Let's go to our solo ideas. My turn, then your turn. One, Lovely, lovely. Okay, we have a couple minutes left. I want to get to another request from our different jazz things. <laughs> Uncle Joe says we're going to take a crew trip to Scotland. Uh, I think the other request was from the movies. Oh, the big bands. Let's go to the big bands real quick. I know someone requested Over the Rainbow, and I love that song but can't quite, I don't know if we're gonna have time to get to that. Let's go ahead and mute that. All right, so, oh, I'm still on my, my screen here, whoops. Whoopsie daisy, let's go back here. All right, let's go to big bands. We're gonna go, this will be the last thing we'll do. So, live stream jazz. And big band favorites, big band favorites. So let me put that link in the chat. Here we go. And here we go. Let's click on, I don't know, what should I play? I haven't done too much alto. Let's go back to alto. And you guys want to play in the mood? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, let's play this one. All right. And anyone have a suggestion for a big band song that we should add? I have, I'm thinking... Um, of some big band songs that could be added. But let's do In the Mood. This might be this might be the most well-known big band song ever. 
You hear it all the time. And the intro. Da 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 Let's try it all together, shall we? And one. We're gonna go we're gonna go straight through, okay? So try to try to keep up and I'll call out if we have to if we have a spot I can call out to get you caught up. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, and And this is the little trick that I need to fix on this packet. So next time I upload this packet, I'll fix it. The repeat sign goes back to nine. I need to fix that. So let's all start at nine. And let's take the second ending, finish out this song. Ready? Num measure nine, second ending. One, two, a one, two, three, and. <laughs> And then the next part, there's more to it. But on our packets, when we do the packets, I pretty much just put the main melody. All right, well, everyone, it is about that time to start to wrap up, okay? So uh, we're gonna take another look at, uh, at our chat, but we're gonna, we're gonna start to wrap it up, so. We'll bring, uh, we'll bring Dennis in for our, our wrap up here. Um, so we had a lot of, uh, a lot of good questions today, Dennis. We had some requests. I think we got to most of our requests. Um, we have some people who were, were participating, but didn't have their instrument. So thank you for participating. Uh, that was Arnaldo and, uh, who was our friend at Flippy Films, I think was saying, I wish I brought my flute. Um, all right. Harry Potter fans, sorry we didn't get to Over the Rainbow. We'll try to get to that. Paris uh, Ed Sheeran, we didn't get to your Ed Sheeran request, but we will, if, if you request it on Tuesday, I'll try to get to it. Mike Hamilton is, is, ex, is ex, uh, 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 suggesting, phew, sorry, my brain stopped working for a second, is suggesting Chattanooga Choo Choo. That is a great one. Uh, Norian, Dr. Selfridge said that we can play the song today. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Norian. Which song is that? Uh, I totally forgot about that. So maybe we're out of time today. So I'll try to get to it next time. Mike Hamilton is also suggesting the great escape theme. Uh, people like you and me for the big man packet. Arnaldo, where's that from? I actually have not heard that tune. Um... More new folks before we go. From uh, Teresa in the chat, new folks. Regina Archer, welcome. Just Alex, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe. Keep you in the in the loop here. And is it Kyle or Sile? Maybe Kyle. Uh, Sarmiento, who plays flute. It don't, and Lewis is su suggesting it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Yes. And Parasarathi wants Barry Sachs tutorials. Okay. All right, Mike Hamilton, trivia answer. You know what? Mike, it's easy for me to say, but that is what I was going to guess because I've heard of Billy Root before. I was going to guess saxophone. So um, thank you for that great trivia question. McKenna Smith, my birthday, McKenna Smith's birthday is tomorrow. All right, McKenna, I'm going to play you. I'm going to play you a blues happy birthday, okay? I don't even know if this is possible. So this is a, this is a bluesy happy birthday using a F blues. Let's see what happens. This is for McKenna. One. Play that again. 
again because I kind of messed it up. McKenna, happy birthday. Mr. A Mr. Angelus, thank you for being here. And guys, thank you so much. It's about time to wrap up. Dennis, thanks again for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome. Another great show. And uh, everyone say thank you to Dennis and say thank you to uh, Terry and Joe in the chat. Have a great weekend. And we'll be back on Tuesday with another band class and try to get to all of your requests. Harry Potter fan, thank you for another great class. Thank you, Harry Potter fan. I appreciate it. Mr. Angel Angelus, thank you. Nurian. All right, guys. Have a great weekend and keep practicing. All right. See you soon. <laughs>